All right, what is up, guys? It is Kicks Review J. I'm going to be doing a shoe review and a review on proxies, bots, and ways to, I guess, get Yeezys on release day. So, um, these are the most re uh, recent Yeezys that have released the black and white version, as you can see in the style code, size 13. So, I'm just going to go over the shoe and then I'll go over like proxies and bots and different ways to get them. All right, so. Here is the black and white version of the uh, Yeezy Boost V2. I've gotten, so far, all of the V2s, the Beluga, copper, uh, reddish color, and the green. So this is the most recent one. As you can see, the white stripe is kind, it almost looks like the green. If you can see that. Um, they all come with their little tag here. The bottom. Um, just a tip for these, if you're going to get the V2s, go up a full size. I'm size 13, and I probably should be fitting a size 14, because I don't know what it is, but at the tongue, it's a lot tighter. So you're going to want to go up a size more. I'm not sure why they decided to design them like that, but yeah, you're going to need to go up a size more on these. Um, retail is 220 on these instead of 200 like the last, uh, the, the OG 350s. Um, they're making more and more and more of these, so your chances of getting them are even higher now. Uh, let's see, the next release is probably going to be the red, like, uh, Yeezy Supply on the side right here with no line. And then it'll have a pull tab right here. So that's probably the next release, um, not, probably in a month or two. They've been releasing a lot recently, so expect that soon. So next we're going to go over proxies. So proxies are basically, um, let's see if you can see me here. Proxies are basically a way to kind of spoof your, not really spoof your location, but if you're using a bot and you're running 50 tasks, if a if Foot Locker sees 50 people trying on the same computer to get a pair of shoes, they're going to block you because it's going to be a bot. So a proxy, if you have 50 different proxies, you can run 50 different accounts on a bot and it won't be blocked because each proxy will go to each account and it'll have like a different IP address so it'll look like it's coming from somewhere else so that's the best way um, to use bots to like make sure you don't get blocked on release day you can get proxies on most uh, proxy sites if you look up like dedicated proxies those are the best type and then they should say these are shoe proxies in the description or you can go on uh, Twitter and there's tons of people that sub proxies on there. Um, you can probably get this for a better price than online. Um, usually the companies do like kind of like cancellation. So it's like a month trial. Not really a trial. Like you pay monthly. So if you get them and you only want them for a month, you would want to cancel after that month because they'll continue to charge you. So that's different with people on Twitter. It's just a month worth and then they're not, you can't use them anymore. So... That's basically proxies. Uh, servers, I mean, I don't use them, but you, I guess you can. It's just basically the way in between your, your computer and the place you're trying to get to. It'll, if you have a server at home, basically, it'll take less time to get to it to then go to Adidas or something. So it just increases your speeds. I don't use the server. I mean, I have a server at my house, but it's not like some super fast one. I don't think it's necessary, but if you are having trouble getting them, then I guess go ahead and try for that. Uh, you can, if you use proxies, you should be okay because, I mean, some people don't use proxies at all and they still cop. Okay, so next, bots. So there's different types of bots. There are bots that are all in one. So they've got Shopify, foot sites, Adidas, all those types of sites. Um, then there's ones just for Adidas, then there's ones just for foot sites. Foot sites are like Foot Locker. Um, not finish line champs, uh, foot action and uh, what's the last one? East back. So those are the foot sides and finish line isn't a foot side. I don't even know what it is, but um, those there's the the bot Soul Slayer is for the foot sides only. Um, there's bots One Stop Cop uh, OSA. That's the One Stop Adidas bot just made for Adidas, which is very good. And then they have. Um, they're coming out with now uh, like a one-stop cop just for foot sites, just for Shopify, and then an all-in-one. So you guys might want to check that out when they release. Um, the next one, let's see. There's there's bots like another Nike bot, better Nike bot. 
Then there's like phone bots like Nike Bandit and stuff, and those are kind of on and off bots. I mean, all, I mean the people that have the Twitters, like the people, not the Twitters, that a lot of people have a lot of success with those bots, but a lot of people don't have success at all with the bots. It's kind of like luck of the draw, I guess, because you could, I, I haven't had much success with better Nike bot. I've had some success, but it's very minimal. Um, I've had more success with One Stop Cop and Soul Slayer, but those are both more expensive than Better Nike Bot. I've had more success with another Nike Bot than Better Nike Bot. Basically, if they say Nike in it, and they're not a Nike Bot, then they're not as good as like like Adidas Bots or just Foot Set Up Bots. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that goes over bots basically. Um, another way to get Yeezys is, is to go into your in store raffles. I know I live in Gainesville, Florida, so there's barely any uh, stores that do raffles. The only one that does is Habit Sports. Um, if you live in like Orlando, New York, Miami, like Chicago, big places, you can do, um, I think, the confirmed app for Adidas, and you can also enter in tons of different raffle, raffles for like uh, Foot Locker and stuff. So you have a higher chance of getting them doing that because, I mean, they'll backdoor a few pairs, but it's a lot easier to just get like win them in a raffle than having to try and get them at home. Um, tons of problems could happen. The site could just go down and crash. You don't get any. Usually when you're running for foot sites on a bot, you want to run it until like like an hour or even more because they can still check out. It's not like instant, they're gone. A lot of times they check out slowly over time. Uh, Adidas, there's ways to basically bypass the splash page. Um, people on Twitter sell that way. I'm not going to say what it is, but... Basically, you can bypass the splash page and go directly to the page where you select your size. And there's people on Twitter that sell that. You can go on there and check that out. Um, let's see what else is there. Um, that's pretty much it, I guess. I, I guess. Um, if you have any questions about shoes, bots, proxies, servers, or anything, comment it down below. And if there's enough people asking, I'll make a new video on that stuff. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, easy season.